Welcome back to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to have a look at the Siemens Mobile IQ app for Bluetooth connectivity to, to instruments. Um, this is available to, to download for Android and iPhone. If we have a look there, it's installed the icon on my desktop. It's going to look for Bluetooth devices, but what you can do, see down the bottom, we can run that in demo mode. Please don't think I'm actually connecting to a radar live at this point. So you should be able to do this once you've downloaded the, the, the tool yourself. So I get an overview there of the device that I'm connected to, the tag, the serial number, which this information is quite often referred to as the electronic label, um, the status of the device, and we can also see there um, things like your distance measurements and which is quite nice your confidence so let's have a look at what charts is so your chart is uh, just is a trend okay is there anything on here so that's trending your data again i'm not live it, it is a demo project um and we can have a look at things like process values in more detail. There's your echo strength and your confidence. Go back, quick setup, oh, a nice picture of a, a level application. We can go through, change our units, operation. As I said, if on the full version, you'll be able to do volume and I think um, uh, open channel monitoring there. Uh, liquid. Have a look so we can change that to solids. Uh, these type of parameters don't look like they're doing much in the front, but they're changing a lot of parameters in the background to, to get this to work better on your application. So application storage. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Yeah. So wet well, plastic tank. Okay. So let's um, see what it does. I'm guessing wet well might make it... Uh, react quicker but so uh, this is my first go of this app so you can save all of these settings so i think in real life that would be writing the values down to the instrument um detailed setup uh communication heart polling address well we don't ever want to change that unless we're going heart multiplexing um process values okay That's nice. So we can change some settings on the process values there. The quick start would, would do most of this. Dynamic variable mapping. Well, those are your heart process values. So that seems to be quite easy. Oh, signal reli reliability. So we can transmit the signal reliability, the filling height. Uh, and your distance. And your level all via one unit that's really nice so um so from that we get the scaling of the instrument and we get the how reliable the signal is transmitted over heart okay current output so this is Your fault current. That's what happens if it goes into loss of echo. What you want to happen to the current. It's very good, very easy to use this. Um, security Bluetooth pin. Okay. So if we have a look at our, under maintenance and diagnostics, um, we can see under here. Our device status uh, if we go to level let's have a, have a look at some of these there's our signal quality uh, peak values min and max and then there's our echo profile um, let's have a look at So 
we can see our TVT curve, uh, previous echo. It's actually quite simple to use. So uh, the big black line that we can see here on the screen is how confident it is and where it's locked onto the echo. So we can see the distance reading clearly up here and how confident it, it is um, with that reading. So it's a quick overview of the app. So if we go back, I think we've covered everything there. So So if we go back, we can disconnect and we're finished. We're back to the home screen. So if I turn that back, it's going to be rescanning for my devices. So I hope that was useful. Go and download the app. Um, it is free. Uh, what you have to search for is the Citrans Mobile IQ. And this is going to be the common platform going forward for, for Siemens devices with Bluetooth connectivity. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for listening.